Hey, this is a quick video for adding drivers in rigging nodes. Make sure you have the rigging nodes add-on installed. I'll leave a link below if you want to download the latest. Create a new node network. I'm just going to do an input, uh, create armature. I'm just going to name it rig and rig for the collection. I'm going to add another node, a flow control and an execute. And I'm just hitting shift A to bring up this add menu here. It's the same as the menu right here. I'm going to add two bones. I'm going to add a bone here and call it driver. And I'll add another bone, and I'll just name that control. I'll set preview, and I have two bones right here. But on the driver, I'm just going to set the X on the head and the tail to 1. That just puts it right there in space. We need three nodes to add a driver with the advanced setup. I'll hit Shift A and go to drivers and click Add Driver Advanced. I'll just click it on here so the rig goes right into it. If I hit set preview, this is going to fail right away. I need a data path and a property. So I'm going to click on my driver bone right here, go to the location in pose mode. I'm going to right click on the location Y and just do copy data path. And I'll just plug it in here. That's still going to fail because it wants just the data path, just the driver location. So I'm going to get rid of this dot location and I'm actually going to put it down here under the property. Then it wants the index value. So in this case, I want to drive the Y, which would be one, zero being the X and two being the Z. Now it's still going to fail. That's because it needs a driver input here and that's going to come from my control. I'm going to hit shift A and do setup driver variable. I'll plug the rig into it first and then I'll plug the control into the data path right here. I'm going to do a transform channel for this and I will do the Y location. Now when I do that, I lose this data path. I just have to plug that back in again. And the name is going to be, I'll just call it lock underscore Y. You still won't be able to plug this into here. It's going to fail. You'll notice that those nodes are different colors. I need to add one more node and that is a setup driver node. Now there's like a transparent node down here that I can plug this into. I'll leave it as averaged value for now and I can plug it in here and hit set preview. And now my driver is complete. If I click on my driver bone right here and then on my control and I move it on the Y axis, it's going to push that driver right there. And if we look in the driver editor, you'll see that all the fields have been filled in here. So there's some more things I can do with this. Let's say I wanted to multiply the X and the Y together. For the input, I could actually duplicate this down. I could call this location X, make it X location here. And again, I just need to plug this into like that transparent node right there. Now when I set preview, it's gonna take my Y location and my X location together to push that bone. You can do other things in the setup driver, like you can also flip it to scripted expression and actually put in the variables lock Y multiplied by lock X. Now when I move this at first, nothing's gonna happen until I activate the X axis and I'm gonna get the multiplication of those values. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Feel free to download this example file if you wanna check it out in more detail. Big thank you to my patrons for supporting this video. Uh, it's because of them that I can make these videos. Head on over there if you want early access and exclusive content. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.